Mental health experts say expanded anxiety screenings could have a long-term positive impact on the health of Ohioans. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force is proposing routine anxiety screening in primary care for adults younger than 64 without symptoms. According to the panel, 40 percent of women and 26 percent of men experience an anxiety disorder in their lifetime, often starting in childhood. Dr. Raquel Halfond with the American Psychological Association says it can impact all aspects of a person's life. Anxiety can have a significant impact on day-to-day functioning. So don't suffer in silence and get screened, bring this up with your doctor, and get help. We know that anxiety treatment works. According to the APA, anxiety is characterized by feelings of tension and worry, as well as intrusive thoughts or concerns. Halthon says regular anxiety screenings in a medical setting could help normalize the conversation between doctor and patient, and early detection means people can get treatment sooner. Halthon explains that anxiety disorders can manifest in a number of physical symptoms higher blood pressure, increased sweating, dizziness. And another thing we know is that untreated mental health conditions can also complicate treatment for physical health conditions. So identifying the mental health conditions earlier may also help uh, with treatment for physical health conditions. She notes that there is concern about a lack of mental health providers, but is hopeful that expanded screenings will increase awareness about the need for more mental health professionals. For Ohio News Connection, I'm Mary Sherman. Find our trust indicators to support transparency and accuracy at publicnewsservice.org. Hi, I'm Jennifer Mooney. Welcome to what is our new Hope Interrupted podcast based on the work from our book, Hope Interrupted, that I co-authored with my good friend Byron McCauley. Hey, Jennifer. You know, I'm looking forward to this podcast as much as I was looking forward to writing this book with you. We hope to interview some uh, high-impact folks as well as have a little fun. We're going to cover stories of hope. To learn more about our podcast and our book, please visit www.hopeinterrupted.com.